Alrighty, hello everyone. It's a new day today and we're doing the other side of this, this drawer. So this is a lot more makeup and this actually, this drawer right here specifically is more like very, I use a lot of this so I probably won't get, I think I'll have a really a lot harder time with like this set of drawers. So let's just go through all of these. So this Sun Club bronzer I'm gonna keep because I do like that. Uh, Physicians formula I'm gonna keep. Like I said you guys this is gonna be a little bit more difficult because I just do use these things. Um, this Becca powder though I'm gonna get rid of. This Tarte blush I'm definitely gonna keep. Love this shade. Pretty. Um, this tart blush, let me see. I don't think I'm going to use this, so I will get rid of this, even though it's it's in good condition, so that pains me. Um, Alright, let's see. This tart blush, I do like this shade too, so I'm going to keep that one. And Anastasia Beverly Hills, so Hollywood, I'm going to keep that. Too Faced, I, I will not, I already know I'm not going to be able to get rid of this, because it's just, I like the color, and then I like I just love the packaging. It's like the great, the best. Okay, I have like a foam stand in here. I don't know why. I have that CoverGirl powder in light. I'm keeping that. I have this blush. It's pretty from the Balm. Ugh, I want to keep that. I love this. Is one of my favorite of all time. The Frat Boy blush. Like such a great shade. Keeping that. Um, Nars Albatross. I am gonna keep this just because I have some good memories tied to it. Keeping Mary Luminizer, have to keep. Ugh, sorry, you guys. Um, Too Faced, I have to keep this just because the packaging. I have, I'm sorry. I have to. Bobby Brown Nectar, I also have to keep this because I just. This is one of the OG colors, and this is like one of the few blushes where I actually have like, kind of like made a dent in it. Um, okay, CYO. Let's see. CYO blush. This is a really pretty like. I don't know, kind of. It's kind of like a dupe for Nars. So I'm gonna. Ugh, sorry, I'm gonna keep it. See, this is where things get difficult. This blush I just got. It's the Sailor Moon one. I'm gonna keep it. We have Bahama Mama. I do use this when I tan, so I'm gonna keep that. I have this Hourglass bronzer, which was really expensive. Um, so I'm gonna have to keep it based on that alone. Um, boo, do not jump. This I love, this number seven blush, I'm gonna keep. This is a Charlotte Tilbury blush, which as everyone knows is very expensive. This is a pretty blush though, I like it. It's in the shade uh, Ecstasy. This Buxom blush, this is kind of newer to my collection, I really like it. I mean, these are all like the same shade, but yeah. <laughs> This is a NARS uh, Deep Throat Blush, I guess. I mean, this is kind of pretty. This would be good for travel, I guess. So, oh, I'm sorry, I have to keep that. Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder, huh. I feel like I should keep this. Rimmel Stay Matte, I'm gonna keep that. Okay, this Kylie Jenner Highlighter is not that great, so I think I will even though I feel like I'm a Kylie collector, I think I will get rid of this because it's not that great. Okay. Then I have this uh, bronzer, which I do like from Kylie Cosmetics in Tequila Tan. Boo, are you helping me, honey? Okay. All right, so that is everything from here. I'm keeping most of it, but I knew that I kind of would. All right, so here's some stuff back here that I don't really use anymore. But I do have this Tarte blush, which is, I do like this blush palette. I just need to bring it to the forefront. I love it really for, mostly for this one right here. That's like my favorite. So I'm going to keep it. Okay, I have this Dose of Colors palette. I'm going to get rid of this. I don't really love it, so I'm going to get rid of it. Pretty packaging though, but I don't use it. Okay, Alamar Cosmetics Blush Trio. I'm going to get rid of this. I just don't use it. Um, Wet n Wild highlighter, I'm gonna get rid of that. This Physician's Formula, I'm gonna get rid of that. 
Um, this is an hourglass powder, so I'm definitely going to keep this because this is actually kind of full. So I will keep that if I could close it. That would be great. I have a Kylie Cosmetics blush, which is not that great, so I'm going to get rid of it. It's just like really, really light. So I'm actually going to get rid of that. Wow, I'm proud. All right, Milani Baked Blush in Rose de Oro. This is actually one of my favorites, so I'm going to keep it. It's like really got good payoff, too. Um, I have this, which is kind of like a dupe for the um, Charlotte Tilbury, but I'm going to get rid of it because I have the Charlotte Tilbury, and I don't need both. This is the Stila Kitten Highlighter. It's like a very strange, like, bouncy formula. It's like kind of like wet looking. I don't know. I think I'm going to keep it. I've been, I don't know. I'm going to keep it. Okay. It's like so pretty. It's so pretty, but I just, I need to use it more. So, okay. Then I have this um, Il Maquillage Baked Blush. I think I'm, I mean bronzer. I'm going to get rid of the bronzer, but I'm going to keep, this is one of my favorite highlighters. It's like so gorgeous. It's a baked highlighter in halo and it's like one of the best of all time like this is like a wedding day highlighter okay um this little perfume let me smell it it's like a it's like a sample or something yeah no i'm gonna get rid of that just because it's like i don't even know i'm just gonna get rid of it Boo, you're in my little thingy that i need to be in okay Too faced peach powder i love this powder I love all the like Too Faced, pretty much perfect stuff, so I'm gonna keep it. And then I have some two powders back here, which I know I'm both gonna keep. I'm gonna keep this Tarte um, Shape Tape powder, it's really great. And then this Laura Mercier one is empty. So I, is it empty? It's empty. So I'm actually gonna get rid of this because it's empty. Okay, so now we should probably work on putting some things back. I'm going to move this part one up a little bit, and I'm going to put this, like, the big powders on the side, like, kind of how I used to have them. Some of this stuff doesn't fit in here um, that well. Next one, the palette drawer. For many people, this will probably be their favorite drawer to watch me declutter. So this one, I have to make a change. Um, and it's going to be really hard to make a change. But I think I'm going to start by getting rid of this. I haven't used it. I'm not going to use it. It's too many shimmery colors. Um, it had potential, but it's just not for me. And it's heavy. And it's like oddly kind of shaped. So, all right. Um, then I have this Mirage palette. I do like this one, but I think I like this one better. This is the Starlet palette. Yeah, I like the Starlet better. Here's the difference in the two palettes. I actually like the Starlet better just because it's... Um, Got like a black shade and more transition shade. So I'll keep the Starlet and I'll get rid of Mirage. Okay. So then I have this NYX Earth palette. Now this is going to be a little hard because it does have some nostalgia tied to it. So um, I probably need to get rid of it though. Just because the reason why I have nostalgia is because I did get this in PR. It's like one of the first PR I got. And it was from NYX. And I also got this around the time of BeautyCon, if not at BeautyCon, so 
I think I'm gonna get rid of it though because it's just I don't use it at all okay um, this palette <laughs> I'm gonna keep it I do still like it and it is what it is okay this Alamar cosmetics one I'm gonna get rid of it's just kind of like a boxy charm palette so I'm gonna get rid of that um, this one is newer the Carly Bible palette I'm gonna try to make this work I haven't really liked the formula of any of these but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to make it work um, these I'm gonna put aside and try to find a place for all my eyelashes I am gonna keep these though because they're like one of my favorites and they're not sold anymore BH Cosmetics Weekend Festival, this is a great palette. It's so great, even for like neutral looks and then also for like some crazy looks. So love this, keeping that for sure. Um, I have this Anastasia Glow Kit. I don't, I feel like I don't want to get rid of this, but I probably should. Um, so I'm going to set this aside for now and then make a decision. I have this Riviera palette. From Anastasia honestly I'm gonna get rid of this I don't care about it I don't like the formula I don't like the colors so and I don't like the packaging at all so I'm gonna get rid of that I have these strange palettes of just random stuff I'm not gonna use this so I'm gonna get rid of it the NYX fire palette this goes with the earth palette I did like the red in here so hmm I'm going to set this aside for now and then I'll get back to it, but, um, the one shot palette, I don't even know what this is, so I'm going to get rid of that. The NYX Metals palette, this is kind of an interesting one because it's all foiled eyeshadows, like, kind of, or whatever. Um, I'm going to set this aside for now and then I'll make a decision, and if I can't make a decision, I'll just get rid of it. This is the Makeup Revolution Nudes palette. I don't really love this. So I'm going to get rid of it. Um, Kathleen Light's Colourpop, so jaded. Huh. This does look pretty cute, actually. Hmm. I feel like I don't have a lot of these colors, so I might end up keeping this, but it is so big. I wish it wasn't so big. I just wish it wasn't so big. Um, this is the Shade and Light palette. I, you know, unbelievably, this does have a lot of history for me, but I think I am going to get rid of this, just because it's really old and I just don't reach for it anymore, so I'm going to get rid of it. Um, this Life's a Drag palette, I like it, but it's just not my colors. I have so many of these colors, it's really big, so I am going to get rid of that one. This Hourglass palette is kind of cute. It was really expensive, and this was like, um, I don't know. I think I'm going to keep it for now. I'll make a decision about that. Okay, Cal the ColourPop California Love. I think I'll keep this just because I like it, and it's. I'm going to try to make it work more. I never really gave it a shot. Um, then I have this Steve Laurent highlighter. Getting rid of that. I don't know what that's doing in here. Huda Beauty Nude. I'm not going to use this, so I'm going to get rid of it. It's just not my colors. Huda Beauty. Um, I'm going to get rid of this, too. Wow. I'm surprised by myself, really. I am. Down to the wire here. Going to keep this. I literally have, like, four of these. This is brand new. N untouched. Love it. Keeping. Kylie Cosmetics Bronze Palette. Oh, wait, is this? Oh, this is the Burgundy. I have to keep this. I actually love this palette. <laughs> Such a great fall palette. And then we have the Desert Dusk. You guys, I'm sorry. I have to get rid of it. And then finally, we have this humongous honker of a palette that I never use, so I am going to get rid of this. But I do have this Jaclyn Hill one, which I always still use. I feel like I should upgrade it to the one with a mirror or glue a mirror in here, but I do love this palette. I'm always going to like have this. So let's put these back in here. Okay, I'll do the biggest on the bottom. I think I will keep this Kathleen Weiss one. You know, I don't know. I'll just keep it. I'll keep this. For now, I'll keep this, uh, I'm going to put my Jaclyn Hill one in there, I'm going to put the 
last little one back here. I'm going to keep these two because I just can't. I Right now, I can't part with it. This is like a happy time of my life, so for that reason, I do want to keep it. All right, so Weekend Festival goes right there. Carly Bible. I have a lot of just like small. Did I do this good? There's no way I did this good. Wow. This isn't the most like aesthetic, but I cannot believe I did this. I have barely any. <gasps> oh my God, I'm so proud of myself, you guys. If you remember my first declutter, I'm telling you, this is like beyond epic what I just did in here. Good for me. All right. Next drawer, this is a big drawer. This is like where I'm really going to make a lot of, like I'm going to make a change here. So this is just a lot of stuff. I have literally almost every single NYX lipstick in here, many of them unopened, but it's just, this is out of control at this point. So I just have to say goodbye to most of this. This is like the bulk of why these are so heavy. This e.l.f. energizing oil, getting rid of that. Um, Essence Sun Club. I have another one already. This is actually like the OG one though. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put it in there for now and I'll decide later. Um, e.l.f. hand sanitizer. I'm gonna keep that. This is a Shayla Colourpop Proceed with Caution palette. I'm gonna get rid of this. I have so many palettes that, oh, so many palettes that already look like that. So I'm gonna get rid of it. This is the Shayla Perception palette. This is kind of cute. But I have so many. I'm so sorry. I, I have so many that are look that look like that. So I'm just gonna get rid of it. I don't need that smush makeup. This is the e.l.f. J. Kissa palette. This is really like probably not my color, so I'm probably gonna get rid of this. Um, this is the e.l.f. Uh, Retro Paradise. I'm going to get rid of it. I just don't use it. This is the Jaclyn Hill um, Becca palette. This is like an OG, OG. Definitely keeping this. This is going to be like one of those things that's going to go in the Smithsonian. Okay. So, um, this soft matte lip cream, I'm going to get rid of them. I don't even really like this formula, so I'm going to get rid of that. Tantastic. Definitely keeping that for sure. Z's. Okay. I have all these creepy donut palettes that I think it's just time for me to say goodbye to, quite frankly. So I'm just gonna, I bought them all and it's like, you know, I can't even open them first of all. Like they're all just awful color ways. They're just, I bought them because they looked like donuts. That was literally it. So I'm just, I'm not even gonna open them. I'm just gonna get rid of all of them. I don't even think I ever even like used so, I'm getting rid of them. It's time to say goodbye. This is probably the only good one, the chocolate dipped. But I, I just don't use these. I'm go they're saying goodbye. Nude Glow, don't need that. It's like a trial size. Don't need this NYX lip, lip oil. Buxom lip gloss, I will keep. This is in Dominique. This is like my favorite shade. Um, Wet n Wild bron bronzer, don't need it. Soft matte lip cream, unopened, don't need it. Uh, Essence Pure Nude Highlighter, not that great. I'm gonna get rid of it. Wet n Wild Mega Cushion, gonna get rid of it. So old. I have another Huda Beauty palette. This one's the Mercury and Retrograde one. I think I will keep this for now. This is like one of the only like really pretty ones. So I'm gonna keep this back here. Okay. Um, I have a L'Oreal lipstick. So, I'm just going to get rid of these. I don't even know why I have them. Getting rid of those. Oh my god, Visart favorite. Like, this is like one of my favorite palettes. I love all these. I still use the other one. The other one's actually with my makeup right now. Another Wet n Wild bronzer getting rid of. This is the Amrezy palette. I think I'll keep this one. I think I'll keep this one. I'll put it over here. So this drawer is filling up again, not this time. Oh, I have Makeup Revolution palette, blush palette, don't need. Get rid of. 
Makeup Revolution Contour Palette. Don't need, gonna get rid of it. Camera's dying. See you in a second. Let's continue. I have a new basket that I'm gonna start filling up. So, this is like such a mess. I don't know how this happened. I have this mini Natasha Denona palette. I think I will keep this for now, just for now. Okay, so let's start like really getting rid of this stuff. I think I'll keep this NARS lip gloss. It's called Chelsea Girls. It's kind of cute, so I'll keep that. But I'll get rid of these two. Jouer and LA Girl Ugly Color, Wet n Wild. Ugly Color, Wet n Wild. I'm going to get rid of all these Wet n Wilds. All of them. All of them. And this random other NYX lip cream. Getting rid of that. Getting rid of these. I'm not even going to go through. I'm just going to show you the colors and just say goodbye. Gross lipsticks. Getting rid of. Um, I'll keep this Essence one. I'm going to keep this Boardwalk one. And then from NYX. I'm going to get rid of this CYO. Get, I'm going to get rid. I think this is like a purple color. Yeah. I'm definitely going to get rid of that. Um, these are like, this one's like so light. This white one definitely is too light. This is a concealer. I'm gonna get rid of that. I'll keep the C.05 or whatever. Um, some of these lip glosses I think I'm gonna keep. This, this Kylie Cosmetics one I think is like literally a relic. It's got like the original packaging and I think this is part of the, remember like the big scandal where they were like all frayed? Remember? Oh my god, look at, do you remember this? Remember, I have to keep it just because that was like such an iconic moment in makeup history. All right, so I'm going to keep these three. White Russian from Buxom, April from Buxom, and then uh, Turkish Delight from NARS. And then I'm going to get, and I'm going to keep this Kylie Cosmetics one. And then I'm going to get rid of this Essence Plumping Nudes lip gloss. Okay, all these, these are all Wet n Wild Mega Lasts. I'm going to get rid of all of these. All of them need to go. Um, more Wet n Wild liquid cat suits. Gonna get rid of them. All of these brown shades are going. They just don't look good on me. I'm never gonna wear brown on my lips. <laughs> just not gonna do it. it. Looks like I have chocolate on my lips. Okay, all these NYX I'm, I haven't even opened, so that tells me I'm not gonna use them. I'll keep this one, which is Tokyo. And then I'll keep Istanbul because I like these two colors. But I'm going to get rid of all of these other ones. So, like oranges and reds, like I just don't need this many. This is back in a time when makeup companies used to send like these insane PR packages. <laughs> like sending every color was just a little much in retrospect. So, I'm gonna get rid of this, and I'm only keeping the, this stuff right here so far. Love it. Okay. Ah, phew, oh my god. So I have these NYX Ultimate palettes. I'm gonna get rid of this one for sure because I just do not wear these colors. Um, actually, this is kind of pretty. I think I actually might keep this, but these are way too similar for me to not. I'm gonna get rid of both. I'm going to get rid of both, and I'm going to keep this one just in case I do, like, uh, some weird Halloween makeup or something. It's just different than anything else I have, so I'll get, I'll keep those. Um, I'm going to probably, I'll keep this NYX Liquid Suede just so I have one color of that. But I am going to get rid of all of these L'Oreal lipsticks. I'm not going to wear them. I would never wear them, probably. So let me take out this empty tray. All right. And here are is more. Like this is insane, you guys. I'm getting rid of all of these liquid suede or liquid lingerie ones. They're just I don't like this formula that much. I don't know. I can't even remember it, so that's how I know. I'll put, you know what? I think I'll probably just get rid of this whole thing. But I will go through it just to see what's in here. But I'm probably gonna get rid of this whole thing. All these liquid suede's. I don't really even like the formula, so I'm gonna cut a little bit. Yeah, you guys, I can't keep these. I can't. I cannot keep these. I just no. Goodbye. 
Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Um, all these liquid suede's. Goodbye. Like, look at this. Just look at, this is just like an example. Wait, where is it? This is an example of what I've been holding on to. Blue. Literally purple. Like, when am I gonna wear that? Never. Orange. Orange lips. No. Getting rid of all of these. All, all, all. Okay? All. 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 All right. The finale. All of these gotta go. I think I'll keep, like, a couple just because, like, in shades that I like. So, none of these. None of these. None of these. Nope. I'm thinking about keeping like some maybe some fall colors, but honestly, none of these look that good. Let me see this one. This is kind of cute. I'll keep this one just so I have like one shade. It's like uh that color. I'll just keep one. Just for now, and then I honestly will probably get rid of it. I do kind of like this like darker red. So maybe I'll keep that too. What a mess, what a mess. I think I'll get rid of all of these, to be honest. I might keep like a really bright, like this pink I might keep. No. All right, that's it, y'all. That is it, I feel so good. So let me start to put these back. This is crazy to me that I just did this. I was not able to do this last time. I've made so much progress, I can't, I just want to show you how much I'm keeping because I have barely any of it. So I could probably fit it all, honestly, I could probably fit all of it that I'm keeping in here. So, alright, this is what I'm keeping. I have these lip glosses, which I'm going to turn upside down. So I have these buxoms I'm keeping. And then I have this NARS that I'm keeping. I have this Kylie Cosmetics that I'm keeping. I shouldn't be, but I am. I have one NYX liquid screen. I have a bunch of these NYX, um, just not a bunch, but a couple. So I have that. I have one NYX soft matte lip cream. Oh no, I have two actually. I have two. Or no, I have, yeah, I have two. It's these two, the Istanbul and the Tokyo, keeping those. And then I'm just going to put this NARS in here so everything stays standing up. And then I have this CO5 uh, Makeup Revolution, a, an Essence lipstick. And then I have the NYX Ultimate palette. I have the Natasha Denona. I have the iconic Jaclyn Hill one, and I'll just put this back here. I'll put these two like back here. Y'all, what the heck happened with this? This is crazy. Oh my god. You know what I'll do? I'm going to put my eyelashes in here. So I'm going to put my eyelash in here so I have these like cocoa ones and then I have these so I'm just gonna put those in there because I don't really have anywhere else to put them tbh so okay cool that is it for this this drawer I cannot believe it oh my God. yay okay this drawer is sort of similar in you know similar situation and I can't even open it so you know that's a bad sign but I do want to show you look at all this stuff I got rid of Wow, look at all of this. That, I was just carrying it around for years, literally. It's amazing. So, this is like a really gross eyelash thing. I'm just going to buy a new one. going to get rid of these Glossier stickers. Like, why do I even have that? I'm going to put these lashes in here. Because now I have a designated spot for them. Very cool. 
Okay, when, let's start doing this, and I'm just going to pull from the top, and then I'll go row by row. So I have two Wet n Wild. I have a cream blush that's like black. Don't need that. And then I have a highlighting powder. I'm sorry, I'm like not even showing you. Whoopsie. Then I have this highlighting powder. It's pretty, but I'm going to get rid of it. I have way too many. I have an e.l.f. little thing, but I'm going to get rid of it. I don't, I don't need that. Okay, I have a fan, which I actually need to put in my skincare drawer because I do use that to like fan off like water or something and spray. Okay, so I have a mini Buxom lip gloss in Madison. I love these lip glosses, so I think I will keep that. Um, I do have two, I have an XXL Shine, which I'll keep in Nude Candy. This is a pretty color, but this one's ugly, so I'm going to get rid of this one in Glamour to Go from Essence. Getting rid of that. This is a CYO foundation. Getting rid of that. <sighs> Cover FX Glitter Drops. I think I'll probably get rid of this. Actually, I'm going to keep it because I might use it on my body. Tarte uh, empty radiant setter or whatever. I'm going to keep all of these bucks and lip glosses because I just love them. Like literally love them. Okay. I'm going to get rid of all these makeup sponges back here because it's just disgusting that I'm keeping these. Like it's literally disgusting that I'm keeping these. Like ew. Um, I have the Glossier Halo Scope. I will keep this actually. Okay. Um, then I have another Catrice lip gloss. I'm going to get rid of this even though I do like the color a lot. I'm just going to get rid of it. Okay, um, I have this, another matte lipstick from NYX in black. Get rid of that. Keeping this Buxom in Wesley. Definitely keeping this Buxom in Alexandria. Very cute. Love it. Definitely keeping this. This is the first PR I item I ever got. And it's this little blotting sheet. It's a panda bear. First one ever. Must keep. Must. I have a little CYO um, eyeshadow. It is cute, but I don't need this. I'm going to get this. Ew. Um, red lip liner I will keep. So I'll keep that. Elf Retro Paradise Dream On Lip Gloss. I think I, I kind of like this. It's kind of different and really glittery, so I will keep that. Um, I have this Il Maquillage High Cheekbones High Standards. I think I'll keep this for now. Uh, yeah, for now, at least. I have this CYO uh, eyeshadow, but it's just... Okay, Fruit Kiss. I just bought this, actually. Like, I don't know how it managed to make its way down here, but I did just buy this, so I will keep that. I have a bunch of Catrice lip glosses. These are pretty colors, but I'm going to get rid of them because they are very old. Um, I have a very old Tarte mini Tartus uh, mascara. I'm going to get rid of that. I have all of these lip glosses, which I don't even like the color of. I'm going to get rid of that. And then I have a Tarte lip lingerie. This is actually kind of cute. It's inexposed, so I'll keep this. Even though I don't feel like this is a good shade for me, I'll keep it. Um, I have a Essence Matte Lipstick. This is I'm going to get rid of. Um, I have a bunch of these, which I, I generally like to keep, like, eyeliners that are interesting colors because you just never know. Um, I'm going to keep this mini, this is actually a mini black one from Pixie. I'll keep this. Um, this is a black Ardency in one. This used to be, like, this is, like, supposed to be the best black for your inner liner or whatever. So I'm going to keep that. And then I have an Ardency in in this shade, but I'm going to get rid of it. It's, like, a bronze so yeah. And then I have these NYX um, other ones, which I'll keep the blue. I'm going to keep the blue. I'm going to keep this metallic green, and I'm going to keep this pure gold from NYX. And I'm going to get rid of this, like, matte green color. Continuing. I have the CYO metallic eye stick. I'm going to get rid of this because I have so many. Um, I have this lipstick. It's actually kind of a cute color, so I'm going to keep this, and I'll put it up here by these. Okay, 
okay, I have these this Too Faced Melted Matte. I think I'll keep these, actually, because I do like these. I have this Fruit Kiss, which I just bought, literally. Um, it's like a strawberry color, so I'll keep that. This Dose of Color Sunset Eye Duo is really pretty. I'm going to keep that. These, however, I think I'll get rid of. I bought them because I love the packaging, because it's, like, so monochromatic. But... I don't use them and they're really getting old, so I'm gonna get rid of them, even though it pains me. That is the point of all this, isn't it? So, I'm gonna have to say goodbye. Okay, so this is a, this is actually a really pretty color. This Essence color. I've worn it before. I'm gonna keep it. Just because I know I'm doing so good getting rid of stuff that I just feel like I, this is kind of cute too, actually. I'm gonna keep this too. It's kind of a unique color. I have this Essence Kiss the Frog. Um, I feel like I was looking for this the other day for some reason, but it's just old, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Uh, what is this? Pure Color Envy from, what is this? Estee Lauder, huh. I like this color a lot. It's like right up my alley. So I think I'll keep this. All right. Um, getting rid of this lip liner, getting rid of this literally dark blue lipstick, <laughs> uh, another CYO single eyeshadow, getting rid of, getting rid of these two single eyeshadows. I just don't reach for stuff like that. I have another uh, Glossier Rose. Don't love this one, but I will keep it. Uh, Catrice lipstick. This is another pretty color, but it's just so old. It, like, actually, it was hard to twist this up. It's so old. So. Okay, then I have a Essence Metal Shock eyeshadow. I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna get rid of this. Weird Wet n Wild lipstick. I'm gonna get rid of these two dried out products. Um, just some of this stuff is just so old, man. I can remember when I got it. So, CYO, gonna get rid of. This is pretty baked blush, but I am gonna get rid of this also. It's just a little too metallic, I think. CoverGirl Lash Blast Active, I'm um, gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna get rid of this Rose Primer Serum from Wet n Wild. Don't need it. Here's two more baked blushes. They're just so metallic for a blush. I just, that's not really my style. So I'm gonna get rid of that. I have a Persona Cosmetics highlighter, which I is so similar to the Albatross Tross or whatever. I'm gonna get rid of it. Alrighty, moving along. So I have a Butter Gloss. I am gonna keep this one. I like the size, I like the color. It's in the shade um, Creme Brulee. This is another baked blush. It's so metallic. It even might even be like a highlighter, so I'm going to get rid of that. Glossier lip gloss I'll keep, but this e.l.f. I'm going to get rid of. It's just, I don't think this was my color. It was like too warm tone, but I'll keep the Glossier. Alrighty, I'm moving now. So I'm going to keep the Urban Decay because it has good memories attached. It's the half-baked eyeshadow, but I will get rid of these two CYO whatever. So. CYO bronzer and highlighter, getting rid of those. Um, getting rid of this e.l.f. blush, so cheap and bad. Uh, all right, this is the another lipstick in the shade O2 Cute Nude. I'll keep this. I don't know, I kind of am attached to these for some reason. Holographic 3D by J-Cat, going to get rid of that. I'm going to actually keep this. It's a NYX in mermaid and it's a really pretty color so it's like really sort of unique so i will keep this i remember where i bought this and why and when so it's pretty all right i'm gonna get rid of this disgusting little um pencil sharpener i don't like that it's kind of like free flowing so i'm gonna get rid of it i have a revolution sofax i'm gonna get rid of that i don't, I don't use stuff like that Buxom, I do, I did kind of curate this palette, but it's just not great, so I'm just going to get rid of it. <laughs> I spent a lot of money on that, and I'm just going to get rid of it. This is my favorite. I can never get rid of it. I have to keep this. It's like one of my favorite blushes. It's this Bonjour color is the, one of the most beautiful colors. I've not been able to replicate it, and it's such an easy color, you would think, to replicate. 
just gorgeous. And this is like a random Too Faced set. I don't know. I loved it. Okay, Kylie Cosmetics um, Velvet Lips in Bare. I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm going to get rid of these two. I'm just going to get rid of all these. More Wet n Wild that I'll never use. This is like eye, liquid eyeshadows, I think. Never gonna use it. These Essence uh, color correcting sticks, I'm never gonna use, and they're so old they probably broke me out in 10 seconds. Um, I have a MAC pigment, which I do like to keep these. This is in vanilla, so I'm gonna keep that. And then I have two unused eyelashes. However, these are so long. They're so long, and my eyes are just not that big, so I'm gonna get rid of those. I have two, I have a Metal Shock lip paint and then a Vibrant Shock. I'm actually going to keep this, this is surprising, but I'm going to keep this because it has good memories attached. I fought over this at a Catrice Influencer event. <laughs> so I wouldn't want any of those people to see that I'm getting rid of it. I'm going to keep this Clean Fresh Porcelain for whenever I, I stop doing self-tan anytime soon, which I probably won't, but okay, I'm going to get rid of this e.l.f. It's just too light for me. Um, I'm gonna, this is a Marc Jacobs. I will keep this. I like to keep all these Marc Jacobs palettes. I just like them. So this is kind of pretty too. I'm going to get rid of this bite size. I was just thinking about this one the other day. It's just like, it could have been great, but it's just not enough shades. I have this, whoa. Huh. Bad Habit Crystal Palace. Look at this. This is kind of epic. I think I'll keep this actually. <laughs> I was like, you know what, I might get rid of it, but actually I think I'll keep it. It's kind of cool. All right, what's this? I have a makeup brush set, but I, I'm never gonna use these, y'all. So I'm just gonna get rid of it. I'm doing much better. I've turned over a new leaf. I just found this old ass disgusting sponge. I remember when I used to use these huge ones. <laughs> Okay, I have a Wet n Wild I'm So Lit. Big powder. Nope, not going to use it. Oh, this is some old stuff. See, this is what I will keep, though. This is like an actually good pencil sharpener, so I will keep that one. Eiler London. I do like this, so I'm going to put this. Oh, I'm going to put this with the other sets of eyelashes up here. Then we will continue. So this is a weird foundation. I'm going to get rid of it. Don't even know that brand. I'm going to get rid of this um, rose multi-use oil. Yuck. Catrice nude beige. I'm going to get rid of this. It's just literally ancient at this point. It's This is a NARS foundation. I'm going to get rid of it even though I will miss it because it just reminds me of working at Sephora. So I'm going to get rid of that. Velvet Matte Skin Tint Broad Sunscreen. Don't like it, so I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to get rid of both of these foundations. I never wore them, and they're way too light. I'm going to get rid of both of these highlighters. Never wore them. Don't use them. Wet n Wild Cushion. going to get rid of it. I'm going to get rid of this I Love Revolution, Heart Revolution Unicorn Glaze. Um, another Milani Baked Blush in Coralina. I think I'll keep this, actually. Makeup Locker. I'm going to get rid of this because I kept those other ones. And then I... Uh, lip Scrub. Get rid of both. And my camera's going to die. Alright. Almost done. Wet n Wild Color Icon Quad. Definitely getting rid of that. Persona. I already know I'm getting rid of this. I have so many highlighters that look like this. It's just nothing special. Gonna get rid of this. Two wet and wild quads. Okay, Tardis lip paint. Don't need that. This is a tart exposed. Like, look how boring this shadow is. <laughs> like, why was I keeping all of this? And like, what makes me sad is that I moved with all of this. You know, I should have gotten rid of it so long ago. So, two Catrice. Like, you're supposed to add these to your foundation and it like darkens it or lightens it um but I don't need these and they're old so I'm gonna get rid of them this is another lip scrub from wet n wild I'm gonna get rid of that of course I'm gonna get rid of these um Catrice 
like aqua ink lip stains. Uh, let's see, NYX Candy Slick lip color. I think I just bought this, but it's so gooey that it's just gross. Um, what is this? Lemonade. I'm gonna get rid of this. These two. I have so many like that, I just can't keep them all. Um, Catrice Million Styles Gold. This is actually kind of... Ugh, no, never mind. I was going to say, I remember this being good, but it's not good. Alright. Okay, getting rid of both of these wet and wild. These are like liquid eyeshadows, but I'm just... I'm going to get rid of them. Alright, alright, alright. All right, all right, all right. We're almost done here. So this is a precision brow, but I believe this is in like dark brown or something. So I'm going to get rid of the benefit. Precision brow. This is a TARDIS Pro Glow liquid highlighter. Don't need this. I don't like really liquid highlighters that much. And then I have this MAC um, Give Me Sun bronzer, which I will keep just because it's like, I don't know. I have memories attached to like my makeup, I guess. I don't know. One of the first bronzes I used to buy. Okay. And then I have this uh, Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. Let me see what shade this is in. This is gross. It has hair in it. I'm just going to get rid of it. So. Whoa. So this is what I'm keeping over here. Can you even see it now? All right. So let's start to put this stuff back. I think I don't have enough to even use that back. One. So let's begin putting this stuff away. So I'm going to put this Crystal Palace in here. I'm going to put this um, Il Maquillage back in here. I'm going to put this on the side right here. I'm going to put the Marc Jacobs in one of these. I'm going to put this bronzer. I probably should put it up top actually. So, okay, let's start filling these up. This is all I'm keeping. That's it. Nothing else. I feel so beyond proud of myself. Like, this is crazy. Alright. Final drawer. Coming up. I actually had to take off this drawer right here because I couldn't even get into it because there was so much stuff. So, let's begin. And this is going to be a lot of just like random. So like this, for example, what is this? What is this? Just a bunch of random eyeshadows. Not going to keep that. Not going to keep this lip mask. Let's see what this is. Eyelashes. I don't like the style of these. I'm going to get rid of those. This is where things get difficult. So I have all of these like eyeshadow palettes from Bad Habit that I kind of like like. But I will get rid of this one. So I kind of like this, but I'll, I'm just going to get rid of it. Um, let's see. This is like another pretty one. These are all like based on like dupes of other palettes. I don't remember which ones though. I think they're like based on Huda Beauty ones. So I'm just going to get rid of them. Um, wow, I'm actually surprised I just did that. I have these sponges I'm going to get rid of. Catrice lip pencil. I'll get rid of that. All right. I have the Norvina palette. Don't like this palette. I'm going to get rid of it. So, uh, perfect filter palette. I'm going to get rid of this right here. All right. These are some old ones. So this is based on the, um, subculture palette from Anastasia. Honestly, like these shades are like very seventies and I don't have a lot of palettes like this. And I also like the formulation better than the original Anastasia subculture. So I'm going to keep that one. Um, I'm going to get rid of this one. This is based on the Norvina palette, I think. So I'm going to get rid of that one. 
And then this one's kind of interesting too. I think I'll keep this one because it's just odd. I like that there's like a lime green. And I do like the formula of the Bad Habit palette, so I'll keep that. I have this rose highlighting collection. Um, I'm probably going to keep this. I'll probably keep this, so yeah. Okay. Solstice palette. This is based off the Natasha Denona palette. And I think I'll keep it because I did get rid of the Natasha Denona the last time that I did a declutter. I like this palette. I'm really intrigued by this color especially, but I am going to get rid of it because there's just not enough in here. It's called Cult Mania by Bad Habit. Alright, I have another Il Maquillage palette. This is like a highlighter, bronzer situation. Um, I don't know, y'all. I'm going to set it off to the side for now. Alright, I have a bunch of Hip Do, Hip Dot palettes. This is like a glitter palette. This is just gaudy and awful, so I'm going to get rid of that. And I have so many glitters that I am keeping. So, um, alright, I have this blue eyeshadow palette. I don't like these colors, so I'm going to get rid of it. Um, this is just kind of a basic, like, you know, warm tone, purple tone palette. I'm going to get rid of it. I have a mint chocolate chip palette. So let's see. Whoa. Literally never been used. Don't even know why I bought this because I don't even like it. Goodbye. Makeup Revolution London palette. Boring. I have these shades already and like thousand different palettes. Goodbye. Chocolate Rose Gold palette. How many palettes do I have that look exactly like this? And this is so boring. Cute packaging though, but goodbye. Anastasia Beverly Hills, I will be keeping this. This is one of the originals. They don't make this anymore, obviously. It's called the uh, Shadow Couture World Traveler palette, and it's just such a great, like, all-in-one. So, keep that. All right, I have the Masquerade by Juvia's Place. I think I'm going to get rid of this. I don't use these shades. Not really for me. I have a thousand palettes that look like this. One that looks a lot like this is the... Uh, BH Cosmetics palette. Let me show you them together. But the BH Cosmetics has more shades. So here are the two together. You can't really see that, but yeah. So I would say BH Cosmetics. Okay. Then I have a lot of junk over here. I'm going to start with this one. ColourPop. Um, I'm going to get rid of all these. It's it's cute, but no. Just, just no. Okay. I have the Carity Mattes palette. I'm going to get rid of this. I have all these loose eyeshadows. This is just a disaster. I'm not going to use these. I don't even like those colors, so I'm going to get rid of that. Cover Effects Illuminating Setting Spray. Going to get rid of that. Um, I have another Hipdo, I think this is. Face Perfect Face Palette. I'm going to get rid of this. I just, I have another one that I like better. Makeup Revolution, another highlighting palette. Don't need this one. Gotta get rid of it. I have a lot of these rando, like, mini chocolate bar palettes. Don't ask me why. I have these highlighters. These are gaudy. I'm gonna get rid of those. And then I have another one of these. I'm gonna get rid of that, too. I have a mirror. It's kind of nice. So I think I'll keep that, actually. All right, let's do... I'm, I'm waiting to do these other makeup ones. Um, this is a I Heart Revolution palette. Pretty outside, but boring on the inside. So, goodbye. I have an orange, a chocolate orange palette. Boring, boring, boring. Snooze, snooze, snooze. More random eyeshadows. Just going to get rid of it and just, you know, say goodbye. Unicorn Candy Glow. When am I going to use these? Never. Okay, this is another Hipto palette. Never going to use these shades. Don't know why I've been hanging on to this. I thought this drawer would be a lot harder. <laughs> and it's actually been pretty easy. So I have these old Glossier stickers. I'm going to get rid of these for sure. Bad Habit Athena palette. I think I'm going to keep this only because it's a dupe for the Huda Beauty. And I did get rid of the Huda Beauty. So I think I'll keep this. Um, 
And then, like I said, I'm gonna get rid of that one. All right, so I have this Carly Bible. I'm definitely keeping this. They don't make it anymore. And it's, it's just a great little palette, so I'll keep that. All right, so these two things are things we do need to go through. I'm kind of afraid here. A lot of makeup brushes and things that I really don't need. I have a cord in here. I'm gonna get rid of these makeup brushes, to be honest. I have a lot of makeup brushes. I don't need them all. Don't need this hyaluronic fix. I'm getting rid of that. Uh-oh. I have a lot of these L'Oreal Infallible Shadows, which I think I'm gonna move up to the other drawer. I do like these singles. Um, I do kinda like these singles, but I really don't need these anymore. So I probably should just get rid of them. Actually, I'm gonna say goodbye to these. I don't need to like keep stuff because for the sake of you know a collection so I will keep this one though I do really like this one this is so pretty it's um, golden emerald emerald so I'll keep that one and I'll put it up in the glitters so that was everything oh wait there's one more thing violet Voss champagne kisses this is just gaudy as hell it's like super chunky glitter so I'm gonna get rid of that um, and that is everything in here so Got rid of this makeup bag, that's nice. And here, I think there's a bunch of Kylie Cosmetics, which I think I'm just gonna leave in here, to be honest, because, like I said, I do somewhat collect. I don't need this NARS lip gloss at all. I sort of like wanna hang on to this Kylie Cosmetics stuff because I did spend a lot of money on it. And, uh, what is this, NYX, Get Naked. I'm gonna get rid of that. I don't know, I think I'm just gonna keep some of this stuff. I'm gonna get rid of like random stuff in here though. So I have like all this Kylie Cosmetics in here. It's crazy. I have some face razors that I'll keep, but it's good to know that they're in there. I'm gonna get rid of this Bite Honey lip gloss. And I think I'm gonna get rid of whatever this thing is. I'm gonna keep these Kylie Cosmetics, keep Kylie Cosmetics. This is a really pretty lipstick in Meringue um, from Bite, but I'm gonna get rid of it because it's just disgusto and it's like melted. So, okay, I'll put all this back in here. I know that that's like not really that great. I did get rid of a lot, so I think I'm okay if I keep just a couple like junk items, you know? And you know what, I think I'll put that I think I'm gonna put that one Kylie Cosmetics lip gloss in here as well. So, remember that lip gloss? All right, so I'm gonna put that back there and then let's just begin putting the stuff back. So, Carly Bible palette, I have this Rose palette, I have the Solstice palette, the Il Maquillage, I have this mirror, I have the Athena palette, the Anastasia palette and then I have these two right here and then I just have like this bag makeup bag which I'll just put back there and I'll use it as cushion for that mirror but that's everything this is like basically an empty drawer I can't even believe my eyes I've never seen it like this and then I just got rid of all of this and this is heavy so oh my god so I'm gonna clean this out and then I'll do a full re go through of everything okay guys so I just want to show you let's go through all of them I've cleaned everything out I've done everything I could do <laughs> so let's go through each drawer um, I cleaned the front of them also and I'll show you I did the bottom one of this the nail polish drawer so here's the first one right here I have all my glitters I have like all my loose eyeshadows right here and then I have like foundations, face products, concealers, things like that in, of that nature in here, like big highlighters. And then I just have like lip products, mascara, and lip glosses, things like that. And like these blushes, these cream blushes in here. Next, I have my skincare drawer, which I did do a lot of editing. Um, this is one that I could probably even do more. Overnight masks in here. I have my like nighttime stuff in here, like this paracone for the nighttime. I have sunscreen, makeup remover, jade roller, 
um, lip products. I have moisturizer and eye cream in this one and my gua sha and my gua sha, gua sha, I don't know. And then I have my like headband for cleaning my face right there. Next, I have my hair drawer, which is just like, you know, different hair products that I can use right when I get out of the shower. Um, I have dry conditioner, dry shampoo, texturizing spray, hair protectant oil, leave-in conditioner. Um, I have a deodorant, and then I have just my hair extensions, and then um, two travel, like, dry shampoos. This drawer is one of my best that I've done. So I, back here, I just have all my Kat Von D under here, but I have, like, a couple... Um, foundations I don't use a ton, but I do sometimes reach for. I have my backup of my RCMA powder. I have some lip glosses and things that I do use, some eye pencils I do use, but not frequently. And just some stuff that I do want to reach for eventually, but just not, you know, maybe not that often. Um, I have some lip products, some perfumes right here, and that is about it. I'm actually going to move this dark lash adhesive to the drawer that I put on my eyeliner, or my um, eyelashes on. So, yeah, and then I just have this Sweet Talk palette, which I keep in here. So, alright, that's that drawer. I did want to show you this one. I did do a big clean out of this, and I did a lot of my um, nail polishes. I got rid of them. So, I have like, hold on. I didn't realize that this was like not the best organizational skills. So, okay. I have my nail drill back here and the accessories from the nail drill back here and like some gel nail products and some um, like rhinestones back in this one. I have my nail gel nail lamp, UV lamp back here. I have two scissors for like certain things that I would need. I have all, obviously, my nail polishes in here. I have all my OPI, and then I have, like, a lot of KL polish and just gel nail stuff over in this area. Over here, I have, like, some nail things, whatever, for my whatever nails. I have rhinestones, uh, more rhinestones that I'm keeping in here. Nail tools, uh, more rhinestones. I have some gel, like, mini gel nail polishes from Gelish in here. Um, more Gelish and stuff like that. I have my nail buffer right here, and then I have like a nail kit which has like um, nail clippers, cuticle pusher, and like this little nail thing which I'm keeping here. And I have my favorite nail file in here. So very organized, and I got rid of a lot of polishes. So that is that for that drawer. Let's move over to over here. So this is probably the most full drawer, these two top drawers, which makes sense um, for my stuff. So I have all of my, you know, highlighters, powders right here. I have all my blushes, bronzers here, and then this is all blushes right here. I have two um, essence bronzers. They're the same shade, I think, but it's fine. And then I have like my powders right here where I can easily reach them. I can reach all of this now. I have my Tarte palette like cheek cheek palette I have my Milani blush I have some bronzers and highlighters and things that are just bigger that don't fit into here so there we go all right so this was a big issue this drawer right here I had a lot of palettes that I just wasn't using anymore so I'm glad to get rid of them to be honest so I just have like all my eyeshadow palettes any big face palettes things like that I have them in here and this is one that I could probably even edit down, and I probably will edit down even more, because I still feel like it's a little bit more full than I would like it to be. But for now, that's pretty good. Okay, this one is probably one of my biggest accomplishments, to be honest. This is all that's in this drawer. This is completely empty. This is just some lip products. I have some eyeshadow products, one big face palette, one big bronzer right here. And then there's just eyelashes that I have and I can pull from. And then I just put this dark adhesive right here so I can find it easily. That's all that's in there. This is another humongous edit. If you remember, this is like my NYX drawer. 
So I have um, just some extra lip products, which I could probably even edit down more. I have some eye pencils, some like glittery drops, which I might use like on my body or something. I don't know. I have some loose eyeshadows right here, and then I do have like one foundation, and then I have a couple like eyeshadow palettes, face palettes, and things, but um, for the most part, that's about it. I think I'm actually going to even try to move these up. I'm going to, I can edit this even more. I'm going to try to move these actually up into the top drawer. So anyway, I just even edited it more. So I, and I could probably move this up into the other drawers too, but this is pretty good for right now. And then finally, just random palettes that I don't use very often, but if I do need something for some reason, I can pull from here and then I have my Kylie Cosmetics. That's it. So those are all my drawers. That was my clean out. I feel like I lost 30 pounds. <laughs> Well, that is it for my drawer clean out. I have this humongous, this is the second trash bag. I can't believe I brought all this with me when I moved. Like, it's just bad. You know what I mean? It's bad. So I feel really good to get rid of it. And, you know, most of this stuff, it's going to be stuff where I'm like, I don't even think about it because I haven't used it in years. And that's how I always feel whenever I declutter stuff, which I need to remind myself. It's like, I never even remember what I threw away when I do that kind of stuff. I never go, oh, I wish I would have kept that. Like, it never happens. <laughs> like, ever. Sometimes it happens, like, with clothes. Maybe, but then not, like, not, it's rare. So it just feels so great to get rid of stuff, and this is, like, so much lighter already. So, all right, thank you guys for watching.